It is time to recognize a global problem. Every two minutes, a child dies as a result of vitamin A deficiency. 18 million babies are born mentally impaired because their mother suffered from iodine deficiency. Micronutrients may be tiny, but the consequences of their absence can be huge. Fighting malnutrition means eliminating vitamin and mineral deficiencies. It is time to react. Many actions have already been taken, improving dietary diversity through school meal projects, food fortification programs, or supplementation. All have different approaches, but one common goal, to reduce malnutrition. But how do we measure their success? How can we make them more effective and react faster to deviations? Measurement is the key if we want to manage the impact of health efforts. Thanks to technical innovation, we can gather and analyze the data with increasing speed and precision, allowing us to constantly monitor our activities and improve the impact. It is time to focus. In June 2014, the Micronutrient Forum took place in Addis Ababa. Just a few months before 2015, the target date of the UN Millennium Development Goals. Policymakers, program implementers, and leaders from the private sector from all over the world met to discuss their goals for fighting malnutrition. We questioned them about how important measurement tools are in their daily work. It is time to hear the answers of the experts. We need to find models that can deal with these complex problems. So today we're, we're now very focused on now that we have scale, you know, measuring um, what are we seeing at scale and then how do we fix uh, what we have at scale. And then it's also to show, you know, there has been an impact. Measurement is critical. Um, accurate measurement of the extent of micronutrient deficiencies is really important as a baseline and then to evaluate the impact of any intervention. And one reason why we've been successful, I think, in iodine and, and, and we're ahead of many other micronutrients in terms of global progress is because we do have a common shared metric that's robust and um, can be widely applied. But one of the things when it comes to any kind of data collection is paying attention to the quality. Can you really believe what you find and have the confidence that you're basing a program design on a clear understanding of a couple of things. Trying to make sure we have quality data coming from the lab is very important because it is based on that measurement that we decide which parent is good, which breeding techniques to use. Uh, you need to demonstrate with objective type of indicators that uh, you are in the correct track. Uh, we put sometimes too much uh, emphasis in the equipment when we need to put in more emphasis in how to do the sampling. And now we have really to go into more remote areas and work with the people there and measure the baseline nutrient status. But that you can only do if you have the equipment, the machinery that you can take into the field. So for me, I think quantification is important for a number of different reasons. It brings greater clarity. I think both for the program to understand where it is and to be able to improve its performance, that it's important to have a feedback loop, and I think that's what quantitative analysis can, can provide. We're aiming really to support countries to obtain better quality data, um, more timely data, and more useful data in um, fighting undernutrition, malnutrition in general, and also to provide better information for programming and policy making. My new job at FAO is actually to support countries to make sure that you know, they have policies and programs that use food-based approaches to address malnutrition. With, uh, you know, there's a lot of developments in technology. Hopefully we'll have a more concerted, um, more broader and you know, more effective actions in the fight against malnutrition. Measurement is all that anybody is talking about now. Everybody wants to know how do you know your programs are working? How do you know you're having impact? And that's particularly important if you're fundraising and trying to attract donor investment in the programs. You have to be able to prove that they work. 
If I had a dream about Africa, and I'm talking a positive dream for myself and what I do, I would hope that uh, in 30 or 40 years, I don't have a job. I hope nobody else has a job in addressing malnutrition. I hope that by then we've solved it. It is time to measure to fight against malnutrition. Measuring the progress of a development project helps us to make the problem tangible. The more concrete the problem is, the better we can take corrective action to reach the goal. The more goals we achieve, the more lives are saved. The more lives are saved, the more our vision becomes reality. Let us start now.